Well, yeah, tonight it's been about talking about that journey, both physical and, and mental health. And also, the, you know, the, the great thing about offload is, is that, that mental health within men, you know, in a masculine world can be quite so. so someone who comes from a world that's been through the mental health but I've been lucky enough to have support and treatment. Uh, and also that gives a bit of hope to tell people that if there is something wrong you can move forward. So it's, for me it's been good just to tell them about my journey uh, and the support and tips and hints that might help them on their journey. We all have mental health and sometimes positive, sometimes negative. And I think to be allowed to say, I'm not feeling happy, I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling right, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad mental health, but if we don't address that, then it can deteriorate. So programs like this where people can come along, feel comfortable, talk about it, and not feel judged, means that not only can they help themselves, but then they can pass that message on. So I think the offload program is hugely important, and I think with Rhinos Foundation running it, um, it's, it's great. Offload has been fantastic. Uh, it's helped me as well, personally, uh, you know, especially with COVID and that. But the, the times we've had with the guys and you know how open they've been about it uh, and the deliverers that have been down here uh, you know uh, you know Keith Senior came and we've had Sean Keith, Keith was absolutely brilliant uh, Sean Lund outstanding you know really really wore his heart on his sleeve uh, Russ Treasure mindfulness I fell asleep in that <laughs> fantastic <laughs> um, and we, we've had Jimmy Gittins down uh, he, he was great, all of them, and Johnny Lawless, we've had him a couple of times, Johnny's superb, the great deliverers, and the, the whole programme, for me, is, 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 is a necessity. Uh, it's becoming that way now, I think. We, and, and how it opens up, because it's the rugby league guys, the big tough guys, uh, that, that we think, you know, the, the bulletproof, but they're not, and, and they actually tell you that, you know, they're open to that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the guys are in there now, uh, and they're just, they're just talking, they're talking and offloading problems, but they're also talking um, about, about things that they probably would not talk about, mm. you know, and, and it's all coming out, really, you know, a little bit of the past and, and things, you know. It's great. Offload is a great programme and may it continue. First and foremost, the, the offload programme is a rugby league programme, so the deliverers are all kind of largely professional players, um, which was quite, I think, helped me connect with it a bit because they're all people that I kind of watched, you know, playing and were, were heroes of mine in some way. So it's them talking about their kind of experiences, um, and it's a bit eye opening because, again, because it's people that I've kind of watched on the field, and then to kind of hear some of the, the difficulties they've had, I think it, it kind of helped me put some of my stuff into perspective and, um, and kind of realise that these guys have kind of held up as heroes. Um, go from some of the same things I do and, and how they cope with it and, and some of the strategies they've used I think really kind of helped kind of bring it home to me and the fact that I identify with them and who they are and who they were and things has um, kind of really helped me do some of my own things really.